Okay, so to take on D.K. Shiv Kumar, I spoke earlier to K. Sudhakar, Health Minister of Karnataka, and I began by asking him that how true is it, the BJP keeps denying it, but how true is it, how much weight is there in speculation that Chief Minister Bombay will be dropped? It is a political narrative uh, that wants to, uh, that is the narrative that the Congress party want to, uh, you know, infuse in the people's mind and create confusion in the people of uh, Karnataka because he knows, uh, the Congress party knows that our Honorable Chief Minister Basuraj Bommai, one of the finest administrators of the state, state has found and in the last one year he has been extremely popular not only with the leaders, with the grassroots and the people of Karnataka, they fondly call him as a common man chief minister. Similarly, he has a very good political equations with our uh, high command and the political bosses in the party. So, uh, unlike the Congress party where they have two bosses, one is pondering on each other and they are trying uh, one each leader between them, they want to prove that they are superior, they are popular and they want to occupy uh, uh, occupy the chief minister's chair which the, which is not vacant at the moment in Karnataka. So, But sir, the uh, BJP's own leaders are saying that the chief minister may be dropped by Independence Day. See, one, one of the leaders of the former MLA who when he was making some conversation with the media, he has just made his personal remark, which is not the statement of our party. He is not in the party's forum of political affairs where he can make such statements because he would not be privy to any of such decisions. As a cabinet minister, I will not have any information. What authority do I have? What... what uh, freedom I have to speak about such things. So, each one of us should know our limitations uh, based on the ground realities. We should behave. Uh, otherwise, the party gets into this kind of a jeopardy situation. Yeah. Will there be any action taken against BJP leaders making these comments? No, I think already our honorable uh, president of the state unit has already uh, sent a show cast notice to our former MLA. So, you are saying that these are allegations being made by the Congress, but the fact is that the contractors of Karnataka himself have written a letter saying that there is rampant corruption and commission taking under this government. See, Srinivasanji, the Congress party is trying to set a narrative saying that BJP is a corrupt government. But look at who is talking. People who are on bail on corruption charges, they are leading such a, uh, they are trying to, uh, you know, lead these kind of a movements against corruption. So, I think it is totally absurd, which is not factual and there is no corruption, especially in the last three years, we are seeing such popular programs by the party and the government, which is a people centric and pro-people programs that has been initiated and today Honorable Chief Minister Basuraj Bommai even his dicta dictators uh, they will also agree that this person is a good administrator and uh, this leader understands the politics much better than anybody. So, but the fact that the Karnataka contractors body has written a formal letter to the Prime Minister alleging corruption, surely you will agree that is unprecedented. T tell me Srinivasanji, in the Honorable CM invited them for an official meeting. In the meeting, the President and the members were there, the contractors uh, association, they could not even give him one example. Our chief minister has asked them, just you give one department's issue. If it is really there, I will take action. This is what he has told. But they failed to produce any documents. But, however, 
honorable chief minister has taken so many proactive steps based on their suggestions immediately has ensured a pre tendering scrutinizing committee has formed nowhere in the country has been formed anything above 50 crores it has to go through this uh, screening uh, which is which is headed by a judge not less than a judge one judge is there one uh, former uh, expert in engineering is there so there is a committee which has statutes and uh, uh, this will ensure that even if somebody has a apprehension that the corruption is happening uh, these apprehensions will also be once and for all uh, solved. So, but what about the fact that one contractor who actually made an allegation against a minister committed suicide, that minister, Mr. Ishwarappa, had to be dropped? See, he, he had made, but you know that uh, we had conducted the free and the fair trial and the inquiry is over and they have submitted the B report, but the party has taken a decision that time when there was a death of one person and when he had made an allegation on the minister, we ensured that we took the resignation of the minister. So, to that extent, the party and the government is very sensible and sensi sensitive to such situations. What about the other allegation, Mr. Sudhakar, that under Mr. Bombay's watch, communal tensions in Karnataka have worsened, whether it's attacks against Christians or communal violence in the Mangalore coast? No, no. See, if you look at the history, between 2013 and 18, there was a Congress-ruled government in Karnataka. If you take the number of communal violence incidences that took place in that five years, it was more than 380. During that time, then uh, Home Minister Mr. Ramling Reddy, on the floor of the house, he said that yes, uh, there were uh, 18 murders, brutal murders because of the communal violence. He has accepted. In the last three years of BJP's rule, you please take how many communal incidences has taken place. See, I am not, I am not defending the kind of uh, brutal murders that have taken place in our regime. We feel very sorry for even one death, even for one incidence. We do not want. This state is a beautiful state. It is such a peaceful. Everybody, everybody, not just uh, our nationals, even international people, they want to come and they want to settle down in Karnataka. That is the kind of the state that we are in. And, and we want to we have inherited that brand Karnataka, we will, we will assure the people that this government is going to maintain that status. So, about the fact that Praveen Netaru, a BJP worker was killed, the BJP's own youth wing resigned in protest saying the state government isn't doing enough to protect them. See, sometimes emotions definitely play a role. In the heat of the moment, when one of our own colleague uh, is brutally murdered, whom will we throw our anger on? Definitely it is going to be the incumbent government. But after that, the Karikartas now they realize that the party, the government is so strict, we immediately, we nabbed the culprits, we have arrested them. Even today, another three people have been caught. And it is not just with Praveen case. Uh, there was another person from uh, minority who was killed. Even uh, his, his assassin, assassinators have been nabbed in this government. So, we ensure and we believe in the slogan of our honorable Prime Minister. Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas and Sabka Prayas is the mantra this government is going to follow. So, sir, in conclusion, you are saying there is no question of replacing Chief Minister Bombay. He is going to lead the BJP in the coming assembly elections? In my opinion, to the best of the knowledge that I have, on my personal cap in my personal capacity, I can say, in the prevailing situation, Mr. Basuraj Bombay is the best choice to lead us and to bring back the party 
to power in 2023, which is just eight to nine months away. And what would you say, sir, to the fact that it's being argued that people like you who are defending the chief minister are loyalists? That's why you're saying he's not going to be sacked. See, for us, party is the supreme. Once the party comes back to the power only, people like me can become minister or assume some position. So it is not because I am personally close to chief minister. I, as a responsible legislator of the party, as I know, as I know the situation, as I know the political ecosystem in Karnataka, today Mr. Basuraj Bommai is the best bet for BJP uh, to test in 2023 elections. Right, Mr. Sudhakar, thank you so much indeed for talking to us. Thanks very much. Thank you, Srinivasan Thank you so much.